appoint an attorney for you. Now, give me one second, y'all. Just had to make sure that the audio was working. But they're going to appoint an attorney for you. So the first thing you do is you thank the judge for offering to appoint an attorney for you. And then you also thank the judge for violating your right to a fair trial. The judge will look at you and say, I didn't violate anything. And you'll simply say, well, you told me you were going to appoint an attorney for me, correct? Now, this attorney will recognize the attorney-client relationship and the attorney-client privilege, correct? And do you recognize, Your Honor, after agreeing that the attorney will recognize that you recognize the attorney-client privilege? And so he or she will admit that they recognize the attorney-client privilege. Well, thank you for telling me in front of everyone in the record that I do not have the right to a fair trial. Saying that I recognize that it doesn't, da, da, da. oh, well, actually it does. You see, you said you recognize attorney-client privilege. Well, the definition for the legal term attorney-client means that the attorney is your officer. He's your agent, and he represents the public, and he doesn't represent me. And that means that anything I tell him, he can tell you, whether it's criminal or not, he can tell you because he represents your interests. You represent the court. That means that he's not representing my interests. That means that it is unfair. Why would you appoint somebody who is going to snitch on me, who's going to work against my interests? So, of course, that's unfair. There is nothing in the law that says that I have the right to an attorney. The law says I have a right to counsel of choice. Well, that's not my choice. I don't want my words, my conversation to ever be revealed to you or anyone else. And I don't want whoever's on my side to work against me and be working for you. You are supposed to be impartial. The court is supposed to be impartial. So how can the court be impartial when all of the attorneys are your officers? That's kind of one-sided, ain't it? So that means it ain't fair. So thank you for announcing on the record that I don't have the right to a fair trial. And just sit back and watch where things go from that point because it can't go anywhere for them but downhill, and it can only go uphill for you. So go and grab the document where we talk to you guys about standing in that courtroom. Let me pull it up so that you guys will know it. This one right here. Don't correct your status. Express your status. Download that document. Put that into the record, ladies and gentlemen. What's it going to hurt? It can't hurt you. What, what, what is it going to hurt? So put that into the record, and I'm going to let you guys go because y'all got some things y'all got to think about. Hey, take care of yourselves, people. I'm out of here.